Well, let's go, TJ. Hope you're staying warm this morning. This is Rainella and Juliana as your main anchors today. Today's music is brought to us by Ryan H. As you guys know, spring sports start next week, so spring athletes, make sure you register through the registration website as soon as you can. Rainella, are you going to do golf this spring? Uh, I've been thinking about it, but I don't know much about how the season will go. Well, lucky for you, Girls Golf is having an informational meeting today at lunch in room 6, so if you're interested in playing this season, make sure to check it out. Speaking of other sports news, I think it's time we send it off over to sports. Let's go see what they have to say. Wait, why am I holding a basketball hoop? Good morning, Spartans. It's Magnus. And Jay, bringing sports today. Boys basketball won their first playoff game yesterday, 51-43. to And finally, girls basketball has a game tomorrow against Roosevelt at 6. In professional news, the Denver Nuggets have a game tonight against the Kings. Well, I think that's all for us now. Let's send it to the athletes in the halls. Hey TJ, it's Brooke from Girls Basketball. So we won our first playoff game on Tuesday and we play Roosevelt Friday at 7. It's away, but wish us good luck in the halls. Hey TJ, it's Josiah from Boys Basketball. And we won our game yesterday uh, and our next game should be away, but wish us luck in the halls. You're very proud of the Boys Basketball team last night advancing on in the uh, state playoffs. We'll now play on Saturday. That'll be a road game up in Thornton against a new school called Riverdale Ridge. But I wanted to come on the Spartan Edition and say thank you uh, to the fans. It was starting to feel like normal. Great crowd, good energy. We ended up the season being undefeated at home. That's right, we were 8-0 at home. Uh, restrictions loosened a little bit where we were finally able to get somewhat back to normal. And your energy last night was awesome. If you missed it, here's a few clips, but thank you again. For sure. Right now, do you like to write? Of course I do. Well, sorry, because Creative Writing Club is canceled tomorrow, so I guess you'll just have to write on your own time. Well, darn. I was looking forward to it, but that's okay. Maybe Miss Reed has some good news for us. Let's send it off to her. Hey, TJ, Miss Reed here. So Monticello auditions are March 1st and 2nd. What's Monticello? It is our honors auditioned choir. You don't have to have a huge amount of experience. If you've been in choir at least one year, you're good to go. Come and audition with me. It's just you and I in the room. The materials are posted by the signups, which are on the outside of the auditorium. We sing a ton of fun stuff. Currently for the next concert, which you should all come out and enjoy on March 22nd, they are singing Under Pressure by Queen. They are also singing Some Nights, and there's a whole bunch more stuff that we do that's not in the classical area, that's more pop, some of it's jazz, some of it is extremely modern, and of course we throw in Disney because why not? So enjoy, come and, and find the thing that makes awesome for you singing and that part of school that isn't so rigorous you want to pull your hair out. Come and see me if you have questions, see a choir student if you have questions, and I look forward to seeing you March 1st and 2nd either at lunch or after school. That was super informative. Say, Juliana, do you know what classes you're taking next year? I have a few in mind. Well, make sure to figure them out soon because in our advisement class, classes the first week of March, students will be selecting their classes for next year. Look out for the TJ newsletter as it will soon have an updated list of class options for us. If you have any questions, go check in with your counselor. Well, I think that's it for us for today, although I think news and admins still have some things they want to say. Can't wait to hear. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow, TJ. What is up, TJ? Welcome back to the SE Morning Update. Glad to see you again. Let's dive right in. Vladimir Putin has continued to heighten tensions between Russia and Ukraine, as well as posing threats and spreading propaganda to the rest of the world. My main man Vlad has appeared to threaten nuclear strikes to any country that interferes with their invasion of Ukraine. Well, gee willik, that is just too gosh darn bad. Putin has also stated that the reason for the invasion is the fact that Ukraine intends to create its own nuclear weapons, and it is not just bragging. 
But so far, there have been no development of nuclear weapons after Ukraine's denuclearization after gaining independence. We will have to keep an eye out for what continues to unfold in Russia. Hopefully, we can avoid any further escalation. In other news, the DPS mask mandate expires tomorrow, February 25th. This will mark the happiest day of the school year. This is an absolute landmark in finally getting back to normal and hopefully wave out this terrible era of COVID. Here to talk about his life with masks. Jack Rickman. Wow, it's the end of an era. I never thought this day would come. I know, it'll be interesting to see how COVID cases are impacted by not wearing masks. Hopefully they stay low, like the 700 pound canes munching soccer playing Kieran brother having dude ever securing some females. Well, that would be a massive victory in the fight against COVID. Well, I'm done with masks and happy that soon they will be gone. Hopefully for as long as possible. That's all I've got. We'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good one, TJ. Deuces. Good morning, TJ. Mr. Kristoff here, your favorite principal. Hey guys, wanted to let you know or remind you that tomorrow is the last day that masks will be required in school, starting on Monday. And it'll be optional. There will be people that wear masks. Let's respect them. I mean, we don't know if they're sick or if they got something going on or they just want to be safer. But um, but on Monday, we will no longer mandate that you guys have to wear masks. The only time you have to wear a mask is when you're on the bus. Uh, that is still a federal rule. So, um, so that's going to be the only mask place that you have to wear a mask. So what that also means is that other restrictions are going to be lifted, such as visitors in the building and things like that. So I know several of you like to park up in the visitor parking area of school. That will no longer be okay. Please park down in the student parking because we will be needing those places for visitors. We haven't had visitors in a while, so it hasn't been a big deal. But as we start to have visitors back in the building, we want to make sure that they have a place to park. So please park in the student parking area and not up where it says visitor parking. Um, that's all I got for you today, TJ. If you have any questions about the masks, the best thing to do, again, is get vaccinated, get boosted. Um, and if you still want to wear a mask, by all means you can. We just won't be supplying them like we have been. So it'll be on you to bring one. Okay, that's all I got for you, TJ. Kristoff out. Good morning, Spartans. Miss Hamill here. So next week, we're going to have first Friday on the 4th. So you might get some tickets from folks. And I also want to say congratulations to those of you who are going to state for DECA. Good luck. You're going to be fantastic. See you there. Go Spartans. Hi Spartans, I'm Ms. Webster, your Future Center Advisor. And I want to share an opportunity for juniors. Please join us in the Future Center next Wednesday, March 2nd, during 8th period, for a presentation about the QuestBridge Prep Scholars Program. Participating in the program can help equip you for college, and the application and enrollment process. You can find out more information and sign up in your TJ Future Center Schoology course or just stop by the Future Center. Thanks. Hello, um, for today's BSA Q&A, the question that was sent in was, what is BSA doing for Black History Month? And this Q&A segment on Spartan Edition is one thing we're doing, along with um, on our BSA Instagram, uh, we are doing more informational posts about things like African American literature, black musicians and artists, and so much more is coming out um, as the days go by. So follow us, it's called TJ at uh, high school underscore BSA. And then um, we're also doing, we're also gonna be hanging up posters pretty soon about more information. And then we've been having discussions in our club meetings on Tuesdays during lunch in room 111 about Black History Month and what it means to us as black students and individuals and how we can celebrate that. Thank you. Holy bejeebers, this snow's crazy. Wow, guys, you are so nonplussed. Rename a food. What would the food be, and what would you re n new name for it be? Mac and cheese. Okay. Cheesy noodles. Cheesy noodles. Cheesy noodles. If you could rename a food, what would the food be, and what would you rename it? Banana to hot dog. 
If you could rename a food, what would you rename it? Um, I would rename Little Debbie's to Little um, ze ze Zebras because I think that would piss a lot of people off and it would be kind of fun. Okay. If you could rename a food, what would the food be? What would you rename it? Drum Mama. What food? Drum Mama.